detailing of reinforcement assumes greater significance as poor detailing makes an elaborate analysis worthless. Good detailing ensures that the reinforcement behaves as designed and the structure will become strong and durable. There should be sufficient horizontal distance between the rods so that the biggest size of the aggregate in concrete can pass through. The distance between the parallel bars in a beam shall not be less than 25 millimeters. Stirrups or rings in beam are very important. The number of rings, position and spacing shall be as required by the engineering design. Please get the main reinforcement as well as rings checked by a professional engineer. The same importance for the number, position and spacing of reinforcement bars in slabs shall be given. The location of bending up the bars and proper trying as well as provision of cover blocks and chairs for top rods shall be inspected by a professional engineer before concreting. Lapping of main reinforcement in slabs and beams shall be avoided at mid-span. The size of the rods in a column shall not be less than 12 mm dia and there should be minimum of 4 rods in a rectangular column and 6 in circular columns. The horizontal distance between vertical rods in a column shall not exceed 300 mm. Ensure that the column reinforcement cage is held in vertical position till concreting of foundation. The diameter and spacing of the lateral tie bars, generally called as rings, shall be as per the drawing and shall be checked by a professional engineer. Please note that it is advisable to have rings at closer spacing where vertical rods are lapped. The lapping of the longitudinal bars in a column should be staggered and not more than 50% of the bars shall be lapped at any location. Lapping can be done by tying the vertical rods with lap length as per design or two rods can be welded to save on lap length. In columns and beams, the length of lap shall be as per design. The end of the longitudinal bar of a column that goes into the footing shall be bent to a minimum length of 300 mm to enable stability of the reinforcement cage till foundation is concreted. Good detailing makes the RCC strong, durable and free from defects like cracks, honeycombs, etc. Ensure adequate gap between the rods to enable the concrete to pass through. Minimum gap between the rods shall be 5 mm more than the maximum size of the aggregates. Avoid congestion of the rods at the beam column junction. Lapping of the column rods shall be staggered.